It was another fairly windy day here across southwest Florida. This is a look at some of those peak wind gusts that we hit today across the area. 29 miles per hour for Immokalee as well as Fort Myers. 26 miles per hour coming in for Lehigh Acres as well as Sanibel and Cape Coral. Our gustiest spot, that was Punta Gorda. That's where we hit a maximum wind gust this afternoon of 31 miles per hour. Up in Venice, that gust hit 30 miles per hour. So regardless of where you were today, again on the windy side, but it does look like those winds will be tapering off a bit as we look ahead to tomorrow. So currently outside, this is where those winds are. They are starting to taper just a bit, sustained out of the northeast, 13 to 20 miles per hour. But we do have some of those higher wind gusts running in the low and mid 20s. As we head into the day tomorrow, look at this. Those gusts will continue to stay out of the north and east, but they are expected to be just shy of 20 miles per hour. So it should be much less breezy as we head into tomorrow afternoon. That also will be reflected right here with that boating forecast. No alerts to tell you about. We don't have to worry about any exercise cautions there. Winds out of the north 10 to 15 knots becoming northeasterly for the afternoon. Gulf seas 2 to 3 feet moderate chop for those inland waterways and bays. Now let's take you outside. Let's check on things here from our France Eye Care Tower camera. Enjoying high pressure that's in control that's bringing us those crisp blue skies. Kind of a robin's egg blue other than some of those low level cumulus clouds and with that dry air upstairs that's why I'm not worried about any heavy rainfall sure we could squeeze out a passing sprinkle from one of those little cumulus clouds here the next couple of days and that's because of that flow out of the north and east from the Atlantic but otherwise we can expect tranquil weather and heavy rainfall thunderstorms are not concerns. So high pressure is in control. Winds around an area of high pressure always circulate clockwise and that's why we do have that flow currently out of the east and northeast. As we head through the rest of the overnight time frame, we can expect a mostly sunny to partly cloudy sky to kick off your Wednesday morning. So your Wednesday morning drive, grab those sunglasses. And then as we head into the afternoon, if we see an isolated rain shower from some of those low level clouds, again, streaming in from the north and east from the Atlantic, it would likely be in and around Lake Okeechobee. So more Haven, Clewiston could see a light passing rain shower there. Otherwise, heavy rainfall, not a concern. And as we head into the afternoon, we will see partly cloudy skies somewhat similar to today. Thursday, kind of a similar scenario. Things start off nice and quietly, lots of sunshine with partly cloudy skies developing for some of us as we look ahead to the afternoon and the evening. As for those morning temperatures, we'll be starting off things in the upper 60s, lower 70s, right around 69 degrees for Lehigh Acres, 70 degrees for that morning temperature in Fort Myers, 71 across Collier County, as well as Moorhaven and Clewiston, and then a little bit cooler farther up toward the north, starting off in the upper 60s in Arcadia. As for those afternoon highs, they will continue to run a couple of degrees above average, mid to upper 80s are expected. So your high temperature for LaBelle and Lee Hikers forecast to run right around 87 degrees in Fort Myers will hit a high closer to 88 degrees. Now, as we talk about those winds for tomorrow, it looks like Thursday they'll be even lighter. And then again, out of the east and northeast in the teens, heading into Friday and Saturday. Right now in that six-day wind forecast, it looks like Sunday and Monday will be your gustier winds. So something to keep an eye on early into next week. Otherwise, we can expect nice dry conditions, ideal weather for those outdoor plans as we head into the weekend.